And we'll have an update for you at 6.30 on Vancouver Island Report and talk live to Gord in Port Alice. Uh, the municipality of North Cowichan has issued a boil water advisory for everybody who uses the Shimanus water system. One water sample out of seven taken yesterday tested positive for E. coli contamination. The municipality is urging people to boil their water for at least one minute before using it for domestic purposes, including cooking and drinking and brushing your teeth. That advisory will stay in effect for at least two days. The source of the E. coli is not yet known. Well, it is the start of the rainy season on Vancouver Island, taking an early toll on the North Island, as we've shown you tonight. And as we move through fall and winter, we can count on more, more heavy rain, more powerful windstorms. An island winter may not be as harsh as it is in some parts of Canada, but it can do a lot of damage to your home. And over time, those repairs can cost you a lot. Our Louise Hartland joins us now with some advice on getting your house ready for the wet, cold weather to come. Louise. Hudson, chances are your home is one of the biggest investments you'll ever make. And with some simple maintenance tips, you can protect it from all Mother Nature throws your way. A quick walk around the outside of any home is the best way to grasp what maintenance needs to be done before the storm season strikes. And you can see right along the, uh, the outer edge here, there's a big crack right there. And uh, you can just see right from that that there's going to be a lot of air leakage down into the basement. The crack can be filled with some simple caulking. If you do that around the entire basement, it's going to make a big difference. Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation researcher Alan Doby says 30 to 40 percent of heat loss in a house is due to air leakage. That can add up to some hefty heating bills. Also consider replacing any old single pane windows to increase energy efficiency. To minimize water damage around your home, cut back any plants four to six inches from the wall to allow for air circulation and to keep wood like these shingles dry. And you can see that it's really quite loose and uh, so a windstorm could come up and easily just tear this whole downspout system and, and even potentially could damage the eaves trough system above. Alan says it's important to be defensive too. Is to make sure that the grade is sloping away from the house. It prevents any water from pooling up against the foundation and, and perhaps coming into your basement. Again, make sure to leave a space between the ground and any wood to prevent rotting. Um, and, but when, one of the telltale signs is when you see uh, the uh, shingles curling up. Uh, that's usually the, uh, a signal to have your roof replaced. It's also important to check your chimney every year. That's a real key uh, safety item for every house that has a fireplace. You got to check that every single year uh, to make sure there's no creosote buildup inside the chimney and, uh, and that the outside flashing is in good shape so that you're preventing water damage to the, to the framing, roof framing system. Alan says doing simple maintenance like this can save you a lot of money in the long run. The Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation website at cmhc.ca is a great tool for everything you need to know and do to prepare your home for the winter months. On the webpage under Maintaining Your Home, you will find a home maintenance checklist. There's also a lot of other useful information for improving the health of your house. Coming up tomorrow night, I'll show you what you can do inside your house to keep the cold weather out and the spending down. Hudson? All right, well, watch for that, Louise. Thank you.